And today we are cleaning several rugs. We will be using the Auric Orbiter with the Union Brush. And then we will be using a vapor steamer to get out some glue in one of the smaller little rugs. But here we're going to pre-treat with a little bit of 20 volume peroxide. Uh, today's pre-spray is BioClean Rug and Carpet Shampoo with 20 volume boosted into the pre-spray. So we have uh, disinfection and an antibacterial, antimicrobial pre-spray that will do a good job at making these rugs safer. And best of all, it is a neutral pH. And one other thing about these neutral carpet cleaning pre-sprays or products, they do use uh, neutral solvents and surfactants, meaning that the, the, the innovation in today's technology allows some of these solvents and neutral products to be just as effective as the higher alkaline solvents. And what the solvent does is dissolve and remove stains and spots. And the surfactant that is in some of these products also removes the spots and stains. And it attaches to the dirt and, and along with the solvent dissolves the, the stains and spots from, from the carpet. So that's very beneficial. So you don't have the resoiling and... and um, all that uh, that can happen with uh, with with uh, higher pH products. Now, you can have a resoiling issue sometimes if there's something that was in the carpet from a previous cleaning, or if the carpet was over wetted. But I, since I've been using neutral products and and I've been doing VLM, I've never had a resoiling issue. And I check at some of these carpets often. So I know there's not an, an issue when I do it, but, but keep in mind that there's always a possibility of resoiling happening after your cleaning, and it may not be your fault. Could be from a previous cleaner, could be from, you know, just so much residue in the carpet and, and it wasn't neutralized by your cleaning. So just keep that in mind, but I haven't had an issue. And uh, with this particular rug here, we went with the Union Brush. We did a pre-vacuuming, got a lot of dog hair out, but uh, it needed, uh, needed a little more attention, so we got the Union Brush on the Auric, and this is going to get even more dog hair uh, that's attached to the fibers off the fibers, and there we, we're going to vacuum it again. And to get remove as much dog hair as we can, um, this rug was a particular pain, uh, a lot of uh, carpet detailers have this kind of, I mean carpet, car detailers have this kind of issue and they need to use brushes to, to get the dog hair off the upholstery and mats and stuff like that in, in, in cars. So this was uh, uh, definitely a, a challenge. We got most of it out. Uh, towards the end we'll show uh, in this video that I had to use a grout brush and do a little bit more a little bit more uh, agitation and and to get re even more hair out and here you could see now this is uh, the peroxide working really well uh, we did boost our bio clean carpet and rug shampoo with uh, peroxide and we also spotted those pre-treated full strength peroxide in those areas so that bubbling you see in those areas that's uh, the peroxide foaming up. Uh, the peroxide attacks organic material, you know, attacks proteins, pet messes, any blood, anything that's kind of uh, organic that's from the human body or from, you know, any kind of food or things like, things of that nature. It really attacks proteins. So uh, it eats away at those things. And so the foaming there you see is, is from our pre-spray and from the extra peroxide 
uh, that we used in our trigger bottle, trigger, trigger spray bottle. So, and and usually I use a, uh, I use a, I usually use a, either a white, polishing pad or a red pad. Uh, forgot to pack those today, so I had the brush. So I went and just had went ahead and used the brush just for a little bit more agitation. And it, it is coming out very well. Uh, uh, as the peroxide dries, those rugs will get even cleaner. Uh, the camera, you know, sees better than the human eye, or it sees differently. So you, it, when you're when you're watching this on TV, it, it it looks maybe dirtier than it appears, but. But to the human eye, I can't see those like little spots. It's still wet. As it dries, those spots are going to disappear and disappear. But they're going to be hardly noticeable by the end of the video. Uh, but just thought I'd let you know if you're new to watching uh, uh, carpet cleaning videos. And here's the Auric Orbiter. And I've had this Auric for six years now. Six and a half years. Um, so I, I really like this Auric. Uh, use it a lot. Um, this this uh, this particular machine here, the Auric, um, this many professional carpet cleaners, cleaners uh, from VLM to, to guys with truck mounts, they use this tool uh, in their arsenal when they need it, either for agitation or or stairs or getting um, when they're not able to bring their hoses through uh, maybe a commercial building that's upstairs or an apartment building or something or a, or a house or or they just don't want to use the, uh, the 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 steam and the hot water extraction method uh, a lot of people use this too uh, this this uh, this auric orbiter does amazing work and right here we're using the bonnet and we're agitating and absorbing the soil and the and the pre-spray and there's soil suspension occurring here with the friction of the bonnet and the pre-spray and and it's uh, all the dirt is going into the into the bonnet and there's no such thing as getting 100 percent dirt and soil removal uh, with any form of cleaning whether it's hot water extraction or vlm or 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 any type of dry compound cleaning there's no such thing as getting a hundred percent soil removal out of the carpet that's just impossible impossible can't be done and any cleaner that says otherwise they're they're not being honest so but doesn't mean we can't clean and you can see looks a lot better looking good and i'm going to go back over this with the bonnet now doing a cleaning it's still pulling out hair as we're cleaning so it's always a good good thing to uh, use the orbital method because it does get down deep into the fibers and uh, with the agitation of the orbital motion it does bring up a lot of stuff that's underneath towards the bottom of the carpeting and the fibers to the top so that's always a good thing. So a post vacuuming, you know, can be very effective, either by the client or by, by the cleaning company. And I do believe we're going to post vacuum these at some point. I don't think it makes a video. And right here, we did clean that with the auric, and we used our pre spray. I am those carpets right there were are for a staircase, and so the first two steps, those those. Uh, those uh, little rugs there for the first two steps. It matches the uh, it's the same carpet that's on the on the staircase. And what we're doing is since it, the, a lot of foot traffic is on those uh, on those particular rugs, we just sprayed some 20 volume straight, and we're just going to let it dry into the into the carpet fibers. And right here, we're using the Grout Demon to agitate uh, the these. These partic this particular rug further so we could uh, do a post vacuum and get even more dog hair out. And it'll look really nice. Uh, it'll be a big improvement uh, by the end of the video.
And right here, there is some glue here. We're gonna steam out some of that glue. We don't get 100% of that glue removed from that particular rug, but we get a lot of it out. My, my wife is the one that does the spot treatments for the, for the, the, um, those kind of stains, glue and paint and all that. I do them too, but, but she really focuses on them and she's not here today. And you can see the steam is taking it out little by little. And right here, I uh, am going to clean this a little bit more with uh, microfiber, uh, microfiber, microfiber um, pad. And uh, we're we're going to just wipe it a little bit and do a little bit of agitating and get a little bit more soil. And this, uh, this is the McCullough steamer that we use. It gets up to 212 degrees approximately. Very good for disinfection and sanitization and very good at removing stains also. And you can see here is the after picks. Came out really nice. And it looks like we're almost done with the video. And I appreciate y'all for watching and please take care.